Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be trying a new drugstore brand and I'm so excited about it. I've had a lot of you ask me about this brand so I decided to go on Ulta, buy a few things from them and we're going to test it out and see how well they work. Normally I try to buy like a full face. I noticed while putting this video together that I didn't have a few things like concealer and stuff like that but I'm sure there's a reason why I don't have those items. The reason? I don't know. But I have quite a few items to try out for you guys and whatever I don't have I still will use a drugstore alternative and I will use something that I really do like. Don't forget if you do like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any videos. And if you want to see this new drugstore brand in action then let's just go ahead and get started. So we have quite a bit of stuff to try out today. I'm going to be using these big old clips. And we also are going to do something a little bit more dramatic. Normally I like to do something really neutral and easy but I bought a smoky palette so we're gonna be using this today this is the brand Bronx and they are on Ulta.com I don't know too much about the brand but I've seen it everywhere on Ulta and I wanted to pick it up so this is the smoky undercover makeup set there's 12 eyeshadows and one applicator this is what the palette looks like it is a cardboard packaging I'm not gonna do anything too smoky because I'm trying to go out and do some things but I am gonna do a look with this palette so this is what it looks like. Very pretty colors. This green is kind of speaking to me. Everything just looks really nice, so hopefully the pigmentation is there. The applicator that you get comes with this little brush and then a sponge in. This isn't really great. I'm um, just feeling it. The brush is not good, but we're just going to put it to the side for now. And then you have this really tiny mirror. This isn't meant for your whole face, but your eyes do fit in it perfectly. Not the best packaging, but you know what? It could be worse. It could be worse. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm just going to use my regular primer. I'm going to give it a fair shot. And this is by NARS. I mention it all the time. I'm sure you guys are so tired of hearing me talk about it. There's no like matte cream shade in here to set with. So I'm actually going to go into this contouring palette by Bronx as well. This is what it looks like. And it has two highlight shades, two contour shades, and a blush. This is again that same kind of cardboard packaging. You could use a face powder or whatever you have, but this is what it looks like. It just has a little plastic film over the front. And then you open it up and you have a brush, which we will try out today. So these all look like matte colors, minus the first highlight shade which looks like it has a sheen to it so I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm gonna put that all over my lid just to set my primer I feel like with a really smoky palette it's good to have your basics like a nice matte cream really deep black a good transition shade and so far no matte cream but that's okay because you can just pick up whatever you have I also don't really have a good transition shade <laughs> Of course we don't. So everything's just kind of blue, green, or sparkly, or shimmery. Um, there's not really a transition shade to just go ahead and throw into the crease. So I, again, am going to use that palette <laughs> and use this shade right here to put in my crease so we can have a nice transition shade. So far, this makeup look is <laughs> all about the contour palette. But we need a transition shade, you know what I mean? Like, I can't, can't go in with dark dark colors in the crease. It's just not going to work. These powders seem really nice and smooth, so I'm hoping when I put them on my face, they're going to be really nice as well. All right, let's go back into our original eyeshadow palette. I guess I'll go in with this one right here. I'm going to put this into my crease. I'm barely touching my eye because this is such a dark color. Okay, so next up I'm going to go in with this green. I'm just going to use the same brush because I'm not trying to get too technical here. There is a little bit of fallout, but honestly, and not that much at all if you can see it in the pans. It's pretty normal in my opinion, but I do top off the excess. I'm just going to go again on that lid, just a little bit below that purple color. I'm going to put this into the crease. I feel like all in camera they look like they've mixed together, um, but like when I'm looking up close, you can tell the two different colors so next up I'm gonna take just a little bit of this black right here I'm just gonna to touch this in the outer V very very outer V just to 
deepen it up a little bit. Everything's blending really well. Next, I'm going to take this NYX, <laughs> show it this way. Next, I'm going to take this NYX glitter primer, and I'm going to be using a shimmery shade. So normally what I do is I'll apply this and apply the shimmery shade on top. So I'm just going to do the same exact thing with this palette. I like this NYX glitter primer stuff. It is really good. Very similar to the Too Faced glitter glue. So if you want to save some cash... It is really nice. I'm gonna go on with this sparkly green right here, the shimmery green. Green is just speaking to me today. And we're gonna put this on the inner corner. Oh, I mean, it's pretty, but it's not as intense as I thought it would be. Okay, so there's the green right there. I'm gonna go on with that first shade we used. I'm just gonna blend out the edges in my crease. It's not blending as well as the other side. Okay, we're just gonna have to work with it. But that is not blending and that's gonna drive me absolutely insane. Ugh. That's the eyeshadow. I feel like it looks like poop. Um, all the colors are pretty much blending together. So that is eyeshadow. It's not the worst that I've ever tried, but it's not my favorite. I feel like when I go into deep, dark, smoky palettes with the drugstore, it's kind of hard to find what I love just because it's hard to really master deep, dark colors, I feel like, and have them blend really well. Again, like I said, this is not terrible, but it's just, I feel like everything's blending together and, um... I'm not obsessed, but it's not awful. I'm actually going to use a gel liner, which has been so long since I've used a gel liner. And this is a Bronx Gel Liner Pot. It's a long-wearing formula, and it includes a brush in it. So we're going to use the brush inside. By the way, this brand is cruelty-free, so if you only use cruelty-free products, you will love that. Then when you open it up, you have the little liner pot right here, and then this brush. This is a liner pot. Very nice, very simple. And then the brush looks... Oh, the brush has a lid on it. That's nice. Can you put this on the end? Yes! Oh, finally! So I love this because you can take this liner pen, open it up, and then you could stick the top on the end so you have a longer brush and it's comfortable instead of just having this little short. They have it to where you can put the top on it and make it a longer brush. So shout out to them. Oh, God. Now it's not staying on. Come on! Shit. I was too excited about it. So now it doesn't want to stay on. No! I was just so excited about it! So, that's it. Use this brush. Ooh, it's very creamy. I've already, like, dug into that. Now I'm going to do a winged liner. We're going to see how this brush works. I feel like the brush isn't giving me um, a smooth line. It's kind of giving me a choppy line. It's a nice black liner. One thing I'm noticing is that it's very black, but it's so creamy that if you keep going over a certain area, it starts wiping it away, which <coughs> I don't like that. This isn't a terrible brush, but it's just a little bit difficult for me to work with since it's a flat brush and it's really wide. It looks like it's drying down matte. It's going to take a little bit longer for it to dry, but it does look like once everything is set, it goes matte, but we will see. Oh, now it doesn't want to like close all the way. I don't know what just happened to the lid. Pretty easy to clean up and that's a really black line. So, <clears throat> so far so good. Now we will put on lashes. I first want to see if this will dry matte. Next, I'm going to use this Bronx Precise Blending Sponge for makeup application. It says, it's for an even complexion. Use round end to apply makeup on larger areas and pointed in for precise blending on the nose, lip, and eye area. Dampen with water before use. So I will do that. That's what it looks like right there. And I also brought my L'Oreal sponge just in case I didn't like it. Because sometimes I don't like these pointy ends because they're really thin and kind of hard to blend out. So it feels pretty stiff right now, but I'm going to go wet it. And then we're going to see if it gets bigger. So I went and put it underwater, squeezed it out a few times, and it didn't get any bigger. And it's still so stiff. Probably going to use my L'Oreal sponge. <laughs> but first we got a prime. So the primer that I purchased is this Bronx Pore Minimizer Studio Line. It just says it minimizes the appearance of pores. So I'm about that. It doesn't say if it's matte or not. We'll just have to roll with it. 
see for ourselves. It's a nice travel friendly bottle though. That's what that looks like. And we're just gonna squeeze it out. Ooh, this looks like my Kane and Austin primer. Ooh, that makes me a little excited. I love that it's not like just a silicone primer, you know, one of those clear ones. So since it does have a tint to it, it kind of goes over my redness really nicely, counteracts it. And then for foundation, I am going to use this Bronx Colors Waterproof Foundation. So this waterproof foundation has 3.5 stars and it only has two reviews. There's one, two, three, four, five, six colors and it says that it can do something that other cosmetics cannot. It stays true to sweat at the gym or lying in the sun in, a tr in tropical temperatures. This waterproof formula has excellent capability with the skin and gives you a medium to strong cover for a natural and smooth skin without drying out the skin. This is a really weird bio, like a really weird detail. But it says it is a liquid foundation that is recommended for all skin types. We're just gonna test it out. I got the shade medium beige. I opened it because I wanted to see the color. It looks very, very warm. And I saw a review right now of a girl saying that she has a really sweaty face and wanted to try it out and she gave it five stars. So I'm sweaty too, girl. It does have a pump, which I like. So let's pump it out. Ooh, it's kind of liquidy. Very, very warm, like holy warm. I don't know, I don't know about this color, you guys. Ooh, I don't know about the color. Okay, so I'm gonna try their little sponge, which I have a feeling I'm not gonna like, but you know. Give everything a shot the first time, right? I hate this sponge. Oh my god, it's so warm. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, all I have to choose from is medium beige, which, as you can tell, is pretty dark. The other one is nude. So this is nude, which is very light. That would not match me right now. So I went with medium beige, which looks like this online. And then after that is cocoa or cocoa. I don't know. Then that's the next shade up, which is super dark. Then the other one's darker than that. Ooh, medium beige looks so different online. Like, that's online, that's in person. To me, it looks more yellow based online. Oh my lord. But they do have a really nice fair foundation. It looks like, it looks very light. Guys, I can't wear this throughout the day. I can't. That's not going to look good on my skin. I'm actually going to use my Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. I love this foundation, it's so good, really does make you look poreless, so on top of this primer, I feel like it's going to look really nice. Okay guys, so I just popped my lashes on, but I wanted to tell you guys, I did try this mascara on my upper lashes while I was off camera. It's the Seductive Black Mascara from Bronx, and at first it looked kind of promising just because it has fibers in this formula. like. And you know, if you have fibers in the formula, it's supposed to, you know, attach to your lashes, make them look fuller, very voluminous. This didn't do anything for my lashes. I don't know if it's the wand or the formula. I don't really like the wand as it is. It's just really weird to put on your eye. I see where they were going with it, but it's not very comfortable when you're actually applying it to your lashes. Um, but this did not work for my lashes. It didn't do anything. It didn't like attach to my lashes, make them look fuller. It didn't really even cover them. Like, it really looks like my natural lashes were just coated in a black mascara. There wasn't anything positive about it. It was just really basic and no volume, no length, nothing. Fortunately, this is another miss for me. <laughs> what is going on with this video? I'm so sad. I go into these drugstore videos with an open mind as always. I love drugstore makeup, but man, this is going bad. I have another thing. This is for my brows. This is their brow mascara. I don't know. I think it's blonde. There's a blonde shade. It's this one because um, it doesn't say, but I'm going to go ahead and put this on my brows because I did do them. I used the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade, but I have not set them. I like using a brow mascara to set my brows because it makes them look a little bit more natural, especially if it's a lighter color, which normally I get a lighter color in these kind of things. Really pretty packaging. This is very warm. What the hell? I know. My bitch ass did not order this in a warm shade. It works though. It's working. It'll be fine. So I'm just going to put this on my brows to set them, kind of lighten them up. It kind of gives them like a highlighted look. You see the difference? Normally I don't go for something this warm. I'm feeling like this brand has more warm tone shades, not a lot of cool toned. So this is a color. I'll try to find what color I got. Moving on. Now I do have a bronzer to use. I'm not going to do too much just because I'm pretty bronzed with this foundation as it is. but. I'm going to add a little bit of color to my forehead and my cheeks. I have not seen the color of this. Let's hope. 
It's not too orange. Remember the Models Own one that I tried? Oh my gosh, you guys. Let's hope it's not that color. If you have not seen that video, check it out down below. I got the shade Medium, so it's kind of like a safe zone. So this is the Bronx Bronzing Face Powder, and it's the Studio line. It's a little smaller than expected, but it's okay. Um, kind of bummed that there's not a mirror in here. That's like the perfect size compact for a nice mirror to fill this out. But drugstore mirrors cost more money. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna take the Mr. Right brush, go in this color. This is a nice warm toned shade. It doesn't look too orange like that model's own one. I'm gonna bronze my skin with this. Whoa. Whoa! Even though it doesn't look too orange in the pan, it's very warm on the skin. If this blends out really well, it could give you a really nice tan look, but right now it's just looking orange to me. Luckily it blended out. Now I just look really tan. Like I just came back from the Bahamas and I am tan. So I'm going to use this little brush in this contour palette. We're just going to try it out, see how it works. Just a little brush like this. But I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's a little bit more cool toned. We need some cool toned in our life with this look. And oh god. Come on brush, put in work. I think the brush works, but I need something fluffier to really blend this out. So I'm gonna go actually in with this shade, since that one's super dark, and just contour this side. Okay, and now I'm just going to blend out with my stippling brush. I'm gonna apply the blush in this palette. It just reminds me of a deeper pink swoon. Okay, I can work with that blush, that's pretty. It's just a nice little wash of pink. Okay, so there is a highlight shade in this palette. It's this white color, and I just feel like this is going to be too light for my face right now. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, um, as you can see right there in the camera, but I'm just, I'm nervous to put this on my face. My face is just way too tan to put that light of a highlight on. So I'm going to go in with this LA Strobe Light Strobing Powder. This is in the shade 50 Watt. I'm just going to highlight with this real quick. Yes. Yes. Okay, now we're going to finish off the eyes. So I'm going to take this Bronx eyeliner and put this on my waterline. It's a pencil liner. You've got to be kidding me. So here's a swatch. It's not very pigmented. Ooh. For a look like this, you definitely want something very pigmented. For your waterline and this is not it last but not least we have lips and I'm hoping this works out really well because this is a really pretty color this is a matte lip tint again from that same brand and this is in the shade why is there no there's no shade names on these all I see is MLT 06 I really like the packaging of this it's like a nice matte black tube with a clear coat on the bottom and you can see the color see if this is good please be good is this supposed to be matte? Oh. Oh my god. Pretty pigmented to be a lip tint. But this is not the color I would go for. I think if you like lighter hot pinks like this, you would really like this little lip tint. It does feel pretty dry. Yo girl does not like this kind of color. So I'm going to take the eye back off. Ew, look at that. Right in there. Oh god. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with this L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint in Spicy Blush. Okay, and that is the completed look. This was a journey. A journey. But we're here. We made it. We got a full face on. A very dramatic look. Something I think would be great for going out. So I'm going to give you guys a roundup of all the products. First off, obviously, this eyeshadow palette, this Smoky Undercover Makeup Set. I do think it's nice. I feel like it blends pretty well. I Maybe that NYX glitter glue just threw it off and we couldn't really blend here in the inner corner. But the other colors are pretty nice. The black is very black for a drugstore eyeshadow. Just not, I'm not obsessed with it, I guess I could say. This gel liner is really great. This is probably my favorite thing out of the whole haul. And it's very black. It does dry completely matte. And if you're really great with gel liners, I think you'll love this. I'm sure you have a brush that you love to use with gel liners. I definitely need to go get me a liner brush to use with this, but it is great. Very creamy dries down matte so I'd recommend letting it dry and then putting on your lashes um, 
just so this is nice and dried down and nothing slides around. Next up is the waterproof foundation. Obviously this did not work well for me, the color at least. I feel like the colors are just a little bit off from the website. I feel like looking online, medium beige was going to be my shade. It looked really great, but in person and on my skin it was just way too warm and not a favorite. So let me know if you tried this foundation. Do you like the formula? What shade do you like best? And all of that. Let me know what you're thinking. Also, I can't find it right now. I probably just threw it when I was done with it because I was like, hell no. That little sponge is a no for me. It is way too stiff. It feels like you're punching yourself in the face with a hard sponge. It's not good. Don't recommend it. I would pass on that. Next up, we do have the brow mascara. Um, it did what I wanted it to do. It did set really nicely and the brows are locked into place. The color is just off for me. It's way too warm. It could be my fault. I'm going to go online and see what color I got. I will leave it in an annotation somewhere here if I got like the blonde shade and it's just really warm like this because usually I go for a blonde brow mascara but I will let you know if that was my mistake or not but it did work. I like it. It's not terrible. Does the job. Then we have this bronzer. This bronzer is very warm. Again, this is in the shade medium. It does make you look very, very tan. If that's something you want, you would probably like this. It blended out pretty easily, and I don't hate it. I think I'm still going to try it out a little bit, but I feel, I feel orange. Okay? I feel orange. And then we have the contour palette. I do like this contour palette. I think it's great. Uh, I like the shades in here. I will say this is very, very dark. I wish this one was a lighter, warm, cool tone shade. It's more of a lighter, warm tone, but you can make it work. It just doesn't look like that natural shadow underneath your cheekbones. The blush is really great. The highlight, I think, is way too light. This is, I mean, you could use this as eyeshadow. You could get away with that and still use this as a blush. So I like it. I will be keeping this as well. This mascara was just awful. I do not recommend it. Again, it's the Seductive Black Mascara. Even though I do have falsies on, I do like to put mascara on my natural lashes first and then put falsies on. This was just, no. It was awful as well. Not a good liner. Very rough and stiff. I tried to warm it up on the back of my hand and it just wasn't working. It's not as pigmented as I wish it was. This is the Bronx eyeliner and yeah, I don't really like it. There's better on the market from the drugstore. You can pass on this. For the pore minimizer, I think this is nice. It did create a nice smooth canvas. I can't tell you if I 100% recommend it just yet, but it did do what it says and it minimized the look of my pores and it did counteract some of my redness since it has a tint to it. And I think that's it for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm sorry it was kind of more of a negative review, but just being honest with you guys, I think the stuff from this company is going to be a hit or miss just depending on what you want, the colors and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's definitely going to be a trial and error, but they do have some good things. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.